Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2022 Forest River R-Pod, model 192. This is one of their bigger no slide out units, so you don't have to mess with the slide out and, and anything like that. It's uh, kind of nice sometimes to not have slide outs. But uh, this particular trailer comes in at about 3,610 pounds. So if you have a 5,000 pound rated tow vehicle, you're more than, or you have more than enough capabilities to be able to tow this. But we're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today. Talk about some of the cool changes and awesome features on this rear bath couples unit, such as the solar package that we're bringing in all of our R pods with now, the new front win window, uh, outside kitchen, and just tons of other cool features. Let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside and start in the living area. So I think one of the best parts about this floor plan, like I said earlier, is the fact that it doesn't have any slides. So as you can see here, this is, I'm standing at the back of the trailer, but this is how the trailer looks all the time. And this is, whether you're camping in it or not, this is how much room you're gonna have. So as you can see up here, you do have a Murphy bed, and I'll show you how that operates here in just a minute. But this is the best way to get a dinette and a sofa. Normally you get one or the other in a small 22 foot trailer like this. And this really gives you the same seating area as a super slide trailer that's a lot heavier, a lot longer, and costs a lot more but in a trailer that you can still get in and out of some of these really tight campgrounds, which I know a lot of people are looking for. So we'll come back to this bedroom area in a minute, but I absolutely love during the daytime that you have these nice thermofoil pressed membrane countertops with the household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. You also have went tons of windows. Um, you've got good cross breeze ventilation over here when you count the screen door. But as we kind of spin back around, one of the things that I love is how big this picture window is on the outside or on your campsite of the trailer, which is, man, it's just so nice to be able to sit at the dinette in the morning and look out over your campsite, not look at your neighbors or, and not look at your neighbors. If we drop down here, you'll notice that you do have your pet friendly bowls. So you've got a couple of dog dishes or cat dishes if you prefer cats. And then a little shoe garage right there to kick off your shoes, flip flops and boots. We'll come back to the dinette again here in a minute. But I do want to mention right here is going to be your main control panel. So you have your awning and lighting controls. And then right above that is the charge controller for the 190 watt go power solar panel that's uh, that we've optioned onto this trailer and we're going to bring every r pod in now with the solar package um which i think a lot of people are really going to like and the the big reason that we decided to go this route is so many people with these r pods want to get off the beaten path not necessarily go to campgrounds and this is going to help allow you to do that this also does have the Coleman Q series air conditioner. I believe we have upgraded this to a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Um, if not, it's 13.5. And uh, so many times in this small of a trailer, you'll just get a little side mount air conditioner. So I love that they're doing the big air conditioner here. So back to the dinette, this will turn into an extra bed if you need to, if you've got a grandkid or a big dog or an extra guest that's gonna come with you. Um, I love that tabletop, that kind of wood look. It just has a really good look to me, um, or at least I think so. All the windows are going to have these pleated shades, as you can see here. I wish those were a dark color instead of kind of the light brown-ish color, um, but that's something you could always upgrade in the future. On the back side of the dinette, you do have the optional 28 inch 12 volt TV. So the nice thing about this, you can run this TV off 
of the solar panel. And that's something a lot of these little, what I like to call boondock campers, you know, that are designed to go off in the off into the boonies, they don't have. They typically have a 110 powered TV. And this is so nice because you don't have to rely on a generator if you want to catch up on the, you know, the Dallas Cowboys or Rangers game, um, which is, again, it's kind of nice. You also have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system up here. Uh, so that will control the interior and exterior speakers. And it does have HDMI and USB ports. So if you want to add a CD or DVD player, you can plug it in right there and make it work. And there's all your connections right there, which is kind of nice. And then this is so smart. Down underneath here, you have an electrical outlet. So if you want to set up a laptop or something on this dinette, you can definitely do that. And this is their Tupelo Honey Decor. This is the only decor option available in the R Pods. And if we take a look down, I love this floor. I wish more manufacturers would use this. It just looks so good. You can also see that you do have the central vacuum system there as well. Um, now that does not come with the hoses. That is basically an electric dust pan which is, it's still really usable, usable and really functional, especially since this is a completely carpetless camper. So you don't have to worry about any carpet at all, which is nice. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and I want to show you how this Murphy bed works. It's so easy to do. You can do it one handed. Uh, and we'll take a look at the, some of the storage in the bedroom of this trailer as well. So real quick, before we uh, showcase the optional or not um, the operation not optional of the Murphy bed you do have some cargo nets down here as well and we'll take a look at the storage on either side and the wardrobes once we have the bed down but I love that they do this so many brands they'll sink the Murphy or the the jackknife sofa back a little bit and you don't get that extra storage which is nice so yeah uh, to operate this Murphy bed what you're gonna do is Fold the sofa down just like that. Again, this, this can be done one-handed. So you have your sofa down like this. And then we come over here and you've got this little bullet latch. So all you do is pull that towards the center of the trailer and then the bed will flip down. It's that simple. Now, one of the neat things, and this is, a, this is only exclusive to this particular R-Pod. This has a 60 by 80 inch Murphy bed. None of the other R pods have that, which is so nice. I love that. Um, this is basically the same mechanism they use in their surveyor travel trailers, which are very similar to an R pod. They're just a little bit bigger. So I love the fact that you have this window. This is what they call a Euro style window. And it does have a shade that pulls down from the top so that'll be your screen and this does open now so previous year's models they didn't open and then you have your privacy shade that will come up from the bottom you also are going to have some cubby holes back in here which is really nice for cpap machines and stuff i'm not sure if you have power back there um i would think you would but uh um i can definitely double check on that if you're interested you are also going to have a little bit of storage under each side of the front nightstands. So you, there's that. And then you have this one over here. And then you're going to have hanging wardrobes on each side of the bed as well. And this is so rare in an R-Pod because, again, normally when you don't have a slide out, you have an east-west bed. So a... Uh, which goes across the length or the width of the trailer rather than this bed, which is a north-south bed. <clears throat> and if you don't prefer the Murphy bed setup, you can always leave it like this. There's still plenty of room to get around the bed during the day. And I think some people would, would do this. Now, uh, for transit, I would flip it up personally just because you've got that positive latch system there. But when you're camping, you don't have to have the sofa if you don't want it. Um, you've still probably got, I would say, six, six, seven inches between this countertop and here. So you can kind of squeeze back here to get over here. 
but I absolutely love that. It's such a neat feature. Um, so real quick, let, let me go ahead and put all this away and we will go and take a look at the kitchen storage. And I'll tell you, for a small trailer, it's got a really good kitchen. So I've got all the kitchen storage opened up and this is a small kitchen, but it's really well equipped. So as you can see, I have the stove cover and sink cover on today. This is all pressed membrane thermofoil style countertops. If we remove the sink cover, you'll notice that that is a nice deep bowl round black stainless steel sink high-rise faucet up there easy reach outlets you've got uh one there and then right here is going to be your tank monitoring panel as well as your water pump and water heater switches uh, that'll be on gas and then right up over here you do have your thermostat for your ac and your heat Nice overhead cabinetry space over here. All of your R-Pod cabinets are pocket screwed, so if you feel back here where the two pieces of wood meet, you'll notice that they're screwed and glued instead of stapled. You're gonna have a two burner cooktop with a glass cover, convection oven microwave down below, and if we drop down here, you'll notice good extra pots and pan space here. Now the one thing that this trailer really needs, in my opinion, and I think it had it last year if I remember correctly, is it needs a couple of drawers. Um, but it, in, in all honesty, you can make it work with a couple of cabinets, but I would prefer drawers myself. Good storage up above the, uh, the dinette here. It's nice and usable. As we come back over here, you'll notice this is a Norcold six cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. So as you can see right there, you've got plenty of room. And this is the biggest fridge that the R-Pod offers. And if that wasn't enough storage for you, I've got even more. So right here, you're gonna have a nice pantry space here. And this is just a great, great amount of storage for all of your dry goods. So all right guys, again, it's a pretty simple little kitchen, but it's very well laid out and I, I really like it. Um, let me know what you think of, of this trailer down in the comment section below. I'd love your feedback, both uh, what you like and what you don't like. So with that being said, let's go ahead now, we'll jump back to the bathroom and take a look at that and then we'll uh, finish up with the outside. So stepping back into the bathroom, first thing you'll notice, you do have a pocket door here. You can kind of see the very edge of it. If we turn to the left, you'll notice a big linen closet, uh, shelf storage on the right, and a big open pocket here. What I would do is put a hanging bar across that top section there and use that for clothes storage. You're also gonna have a nice shelf up here so you can put some more items up there. Window in the back, and that does have a shade so you can close that off when you're using the facilities. Foot flush lever toilet, good storage underneath the sink there. And again, thermal foil press membrane countertops, pretty decent sized sink you can fit adult hands into. And then rounding out the bathroom, you are gonna have a nice uh, size shower. Notice that they shower, not a tub. You do have the Aquaview shower miser on this particular unit as well, really any R-Pod. And what that'll do is if you're boondocking, while you're waiting for your water to heat up, you'll turn that on and it'll recycle the cold water into your fresh tank. So it helps you save some water. Up top, you do have a nice skylight. You can be upwards of 6'2 and still shower in here comfortably. And then lastly, you do have a max air vent fan up there as well. So all right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the interior of the 2022 R-Pod model 192. Let's go ahead now, we'll jump onto the outside and we'll take a look at some of the features there. And I tell you, they didn't change much, but it's a, still a very well equipped trailer. All right guys, we're on the outside of this brand new 2022 R-Pod model 192. So up at the front here, you've got a nice fiberglass front sweep here. This is real aerodynamic and it's gonna cut through the wind really nicely. Another kind of nice thing about these is they have a, they're only seven and a half foot wide for the body. They're eight foot wide to the edge of the axle, which is pretty cool. And you've got that nice front window we talked about earlier. Power tongue jack is standard. You've also got a 20 pound propane tank, rails for your battery and a battery disconnect up there. 
as we come around to this side of the trailer, we'll take a look at the pass through from the other side. But you do have your city water and fresh water connections here. Good looking aluminum wheels. You've also got your 30 amp service, cable and satellite hookups, and your dump station for your black and gray tanks right there. Back side of your furnace and your service port or service hatch for your gas electric refrigerator are also located on that side. As we come around to the back, you've got a spare tire, spare tire carrier, backup camera prep, and you've got a ladder, which is very unusual since a lot of companies are going away from the ladders. Up top, you're going to have a PVC roof that is uh, has a 20-year defect warranty. It also is going to keep your attic, and when I say attic, I mean the space between the, the roof material or the roof deck and the interior panel that's going to keep it about 15 degrees cooler than an EPDM or TPO roof. You're also going to have your 190 watt go power solar package up there as well, or solar panel I should say. Six gallon gas electric hot water heater with direct spark ignition. As we come around to the entry door side, you'll notice a nice power awning with LED lights, outside speakers, and an amber porch light. If we drop down here, you'll notice you do have four corner stabilizer jacks, and your propane quick connect, by the way. Black tank flush, and then this right here is a cold water spray port. Electrical outlet on the outside, and then you've got this rail here for a griddle and prep table that comes with this trailer. Again, there's a big campsite window. Love that black glass entry door. You've also got the dual steps and the larger entry assist handle. Your tires are going to have a 5 plus 2 plus 1 tire warranty. So that's 5 years against defects, 2 years roadside assistance, and a 12 months no questions asked guarantee on your tires. You're also going to have Asdell composite sidewall panels here as well. So what that's going to do for you is that prevents against delamination, rot, mold, and mildew. It doesn't off-gas formaldehyde. It's lighter weight. It has a sound dampening quality to it. And uh, it has double the insulation value compared to wood or Luon. So lastly, rounding out the trailer, you do have magnetic holdbacks on all your baggage doors. And if we take a look inside of here, you'll notice aluminum bed bases and tons of pass-through storage here. This is really good for this size of trailer. Another kind of neat feature is these are all keyed alike. So your, your main entry door uh, and your uh, baggage compartments are all keyed the same, which is really handy. So all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 R-Pod model 2, or not 202, 192. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions, or if you'd like pricing availability, uh, I'll leave a link down to our website in the description down below. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336. You can also email us at contact at custom-rv.com. Or you can leave any comments and questions down in the description, or down in the comment section down below. As always, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed and found this video informative. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Let's try to get to 20 likes on this video. Uh, and always hit that subscribe button down, uh, and notification bell down below. That helps you keep up to date with all of our new and used uh, trailers that we have for you. Again, guys, remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave that up to the big dealers. And at Custom RV, we know that RVs are made for women so men can go camping. All right, guys, again, thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed and have a wonderful rest of your day.